Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Minecraft. And today, the map we're going to be playing is a horror map titled simply Demon Brain. Now, after the last couple of videos, there's been an outpouring of suggestions for other maps I should play, which I am extremely grateful for because, as I said in those videos, this is a whole world that I wasn't really aware of until now. This one in particular caught my attention because, on the download page, I was greeted with a very creepy banner image. And a similarly cryptic description. As a matter of fact, that description was so sparse that it didn't even come with rules as far as I could see. Hello? It wasn't the models that scared me, it was the fact that the game was lagging as I turned. Uh, which is a little unusual for something like Minecraft on my specs, so... I really thought something was going to happen with this. Potato Man. Hey, open me now. That must be the avatar of the creator, which means presumably this chest contains the rules. Uh, but before we do that, let's see what these are all about. Uh, Killer Creeper? Oh, Killer Creeper, I think, was the creator of the previous map we played, wasn't it? Uh, and presumably all these people are... I don't really recognize these names, but I guess these are probably YouTubers and map creators and the like that have been getting a shout-out here. Uh, I can't speak. It's so early in the morning. Rules. Important. And hey. Well, let's start with Rules. It's a little bit difficult to select stuff because this texture pack that the map provides uh, doesn't have the little indicator of which slot you're on. Uh, rules. Render distance 8 chunks. Graphics fancy. Not for multiplayer. Use headphones. Hmm. And play in slash game mode 2. Clouds off. In this map, there are two endings you can complete. Wow, multiple endings in a Minecraft map. Uh, record in a video the two endings for unlock the special gallery of the map. Okay, so there's New Game Plus content we can unlock. And finally, hey. Hi, it's me, Potato Man. Oh, sorry, Potato Man. I wanted to use Support the Map. I don't know if this is my last horror map, but I worked with four horror maps that never left to the light. Much hours for tests. So, I won the, the tittle of the horror map of the year. Decide. Hmm. Well, that's indecipherable. Let's go. New word from the nation's top scientists on the zombie virus that appeared to me. Uh, we're just glossing over that? Wire indicate that we'll be doing religious horror. Some of those sounds would certainly seem to indicate so. Oh, these sounds are absolutely horrific. Have I been buried alive? You know, sometimes when you guys suggest something to me, I'll Whoa. Okay, after the last map, I didn't think I could get any more impressed with the things people are capable of in unmodded Minecraft. Uh, some of you guys said that it's actually possible to bake what are essentially, like, light mods into the map files. And that explained a lot, but even still, I think this is so cool because... Because it breaks my mind when I see these things. It's like a cursed image, like those meme images of circles in the game. Some of what we've seen is not so far off from that, especially with over a decade of experience in what to expect from this game. 
Yeah, but as I was saying, sometimes when you guys suggest something to me, I'll play it. And within a few minutes, I'll either think, oh, wow, I can definitely see why they wanted me to play this. This is like a really cool and thoughtful thing. And sometimes I'll think, oh, I get it. They're trying to kill me. And that's what this feels like. Uh, this is the slowest movement speed we've had yet on one of these maps. Are we going to have to run? I certainly hope I can run since we're going into the basement after that absolute auditory horror show we were just subjected to. Uh, it's actually a good thing that this feels to me so much like a creepypasta version of a game I'm familiar with, with all these weird things that shouldn't be possible, because uh, those sounds make it feel like something that came off of the dark web. Uh, it is too early in the morning. My speech hasn't caught up yet, but uh, my jitters certainly have. Warning. Uh, well, we have the ability to keep descending into the darkness. My instinct would be telling me to try this door first, were, were it not for the warning. can't interact with it at all. Uh, this is like some kind of crumbling, decrepit tower. Although I can't see well enough out the window to tell how far up we actually are. It seemed like we started underground, which makes these windows and holes in the walls all the more strange. It almost feels like a space from a dream. And I don't like this big, dark gap under the stairs. The fact that there's seemingly no reason for that space to be there makes it even worse. Like, I don't want to turn my back to it. Like, as soon as I do, some monstrous figure will slowly peek around the corner. What is this? Hi. Hi. You look sort of like a sketch of the face on the banner image. The same hallway. Only in significantly better repair than the one upstairs. Oh no. We're doing Silent Hill PT. We're doing PT, but on a staircase. That's, uh, what is that? Was that just a chunk loading in, or was there something there for a second? It, okay. What I thought I saw was just a dark void right here for a second, right? But I almost thought there were some white pixels within that could just as easily have been some stars outside, but... I swear it was kind of in the shape of, well, whatever this is. Still can't open this. And is it just me or is it getting darker? Now luckily each of these floors is still lit. But it does seem like the light level is going down, doesn't it? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I should be closing some of these behind me. Uh, we're gonna keep at this, are we? Get me into the flow of repetition. Never mind, we're breaking that flow already. Now I could... I could go through here. And I will, because it doesn't take me down a whole different path, it's just an... It's just a room that's open now. Hi. Uh... Sir! That was creepy. I, I kind of figured there'd be some kind of, like, turnaround reveals jump scare, but... Somehow, that, that image... 
just froze me for a second, and I, I'm not sure why. There's just something about those hideous, exaggerated features, and in the middle of it all, that huge grin. Can we go somewhere? No, we actually can't jump at all. Now it's really like a dream. Trapped in this endless, repetitive maze. Well, not even maze, more like a corridor. With some horrifying creature. And with our movements severely gimped. This time, the door at the bottom is already opened. Can't open it. Good with me. And maybe that perceived poor mobility is only due to the knowledge that I'm now trapped in here with something that I assume doesn't have good intentions for me. Smiley faces painted in blood all over the walls. And it's like it wants there to be a smile on everything! Yeah, I think we really are going in the direction of religious horror. This is like some kind of chapel? But hidden away. Like some kind of... fringe sect. S-A-A-Y-L-O? Uh, if it's supposed to say something else in the red marks, I, I can't really read that. List of things. I can list things. Monday. Two eyes, one arm, six teeth. Tuesday. Two heads, two arms, one leg. Wednesday. Three souls, fifteen children. So when you combine children, five of them equals one soul, or are these separate items on the list? Yay! Oh, what was that? Okay, I, I gotta talk about that a little bit. One, silent jump scare. So rare, wasn't expecting it from this map, but I really love them when they work, and that certainly worked. And number two, oh, what is it about tall creatures hunched in the corner that have to crouch down in order to fit in the room? I, I feel like there must be, like, illustrations in, like, children's books featuring ghosts and monsters that this is taking me back to, but I can't think of any specific examples right now. Maybe those huge suits from the movie version of There's a Monster in My Closet. No. No. No, 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 it wants me to walk into the darkness, doesn't it? What's staring at me from the altar? What's staring at me from the altar? I know that if I walk forward, there's something in there. Already here, bud. Oh wow, it looks a lot like where I already came from. And yeah, not much of a surprise there, I have always suspected that would be the case. The door 
where the back has now appeared. Yeah, this is actually giving me real vibes of, like, The Exorcist or something. Two ways I can go, right? No, we can't use these doors, which means something could enter behind me. But there's a chest hidden here. Secret Easter egg key. Uh, is that the key to this door? No. No. Wait, now I could move forward, but maybe... Maybe there's something back the way I came. Yeah, see, the thing is, uh, I've spent a lot of time walking downward, and my speed is severely crippled. Uh, I could have to walk back a long way, and I'm starting to suspect this key, which I'm now realizing has an Enderman on the end of it. Uh, this might not even be the way to go. It might be something that's forward. It's probably something that's forward. Yeah, I'm just gonna go forward and, and get the usual oh, experience first. And uh, okay, let me regather my thoughts for a second. Uh, I'm just gonna go through it the way it wants me to, and uh, if I don't figure out where the key goes, I'll do it on a second playthrough. At least I know where to find it now. Safety standards have really diminished in this tower, but it seems like at this point I could do it blind. Maybe that's the idea. To get me used to becoming some kind of blind lighthouse keeper! Uh, okay, okay, I'm looking down now. I'm gonna need you to stop doing that with my vision. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't try to play this in VR. That's something I'm going to have to try one of these days, use the VR mod with one of these maps. And that sound that it made when it appeared, I know it's just like a classic horror sound, but at this point it just reminds me of, uh, of Gregory Horror Show. If you don't know what that is, it's such a weird little thing. Uh, I'll link a video I did on it last year in the description. like I'm burying myself. Ow. <laughs> uh, you started sealing up the map before I was ready, game. It's like some kind of makeshift graveyard down here. And a crib. We already knew they were doing child sacrifices, but is this where it happens? Where are the kids? Behind the wall? Behind the door? Behind Satan? Behind you? <laughs> Oh, very well played. I don't know if that was intentional, but it certainly worked well. And there was still a few degrees left to turn for me to notice that. Oh, it's like a mockery of a nursery. Like a child being prepared for sacrifice would have been left in the crib with someone with ill intentions watching over. Uh, and that book, it's, I, I don't know, it's written almost like a nursery rhyme, but so ominous. And I know it's a common horror movie trope to do that, but I feel like this one just lands a little bit better for some reason. Hello, that's a Rubik's Cube in the distance. Not going this way. I I've got to remember to start trying the key on, like, every door. Hello, what's on the TV? Uh, $7. 
There's definitely a face in the static. Also with a with a strangely simple pixelated smile. This is actually reminding me a lot in tone to uh, I'm scared. Like I, I, the whole time I'm getting the impression that I'm being shown something. Like something wants me to see or understand something. Is this a fresh grave? There's a blood trail in here. Although it seems to start and stop here. A Christmas scene? Okay, now I'm really confused as to what this area is meant to represent. Doctor, I think that I have a problem. This isn't literally happening, is it? This is going to be the walking through the halls of my tortured psyche style horror map, isn't it? And there's nowhere left for me to go but back. <laughs> oh, just as I noticed that that door was open now. Uh, this map so far, and again, it's always impossible to tell if this is intentional, but it's doing a really good job of anticipating where I'm going to be looking at a given time, and then surprising me based on that. Oh no. That's the elevating music and heart rate that tells me that I need to run, but I can't! I can't run! I can't run! Oh, now it's like a dream. In a hallway where I can only run, can't hide. And let's be real, I can't run either. That that was panic inducing for a split second. Oh, there's all these children's toys everywhere. What does it mean? That's new. That looks like a humanoid figure. Now, did that open because I was holding the key? No. So, uh, I didn't get to see what happens if I go up. That might be where I use the Easter egg key. Okay, I have to keep that in mind for playthrough number two. Okay, this is definitely inspired by Silent Hill PT. 100%. But another crate we can't interact with. Yeah, yeah. The ceiling seems to be leaking. There's water particles hitting the floor. Here. I don't understand why some chests I can interact with and some I can't. Uh, there's now a trail of bloody footprints moving through the house. The theory that I'm starting to put together is that I did something on Christmas. <laughs> At this point, I'm just interested to see where this is going to go. And if my theory holds true... Error? Errors in, like, errors? Like, are these supposed to be, like, texture glitches? Is this going to become more I'm scared than I thought? In, like, a meta sense?
through here. Oh, it's getting so dark. What else can I do? I can't see anything. Unless I'm actually meant to drop down. No, I can't. What do I do then? Just walk back? Could I even? I can't. Hi! even throwing fake error messages in the console. Is something coming? Oh, it, it, it keeps doing this thing with its audio, especially the whispers, where there's like a bass to it where I can almost feel it hitting my ears. Not just like there's something right beside me, but like it's actually like tapping my eardrum almost. What is this all leading to? I feel more than ever that it's trying to show me something. And now I'm just waiting for it to reveal it. This is like I'm in some kind of like interrogation room or prison. It's like some kind of research facility. There's a camera up in the corner. Rock Brains 2861. Okay, I might have been way off with my prediction. So what have we seen so far? We've seen a never-ending staircase that descended into some kind of, like, cultish chapel. Some underground area that seems like it may have been used for child sacrifices, but there we started to see images of, like, Christmas and children's toys, which then transitioned into a house, which started to deteriorate into, like, glitch textures and error messages, which now becomes this laboratory that looks more like a haunted castle's dungeon. Yeah, to go back to my dream observations, this actually is flowing like a dream. Where an area will have some cohesive theme, I guess. But one little thing will kind of lead to a whole other train of thought. I gotta go through all this again if I'm to figure out where this easter egg key is used. Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Element Prototype 15. Uh, that is a plain old villager, but I see how you could mistake them for supernatural entities. I can actually climb up on here using this half block. Get back here. Have I just, have I just screwed myself? I think I've just trapped myself. All right. And back to our regularly scheduled content. Is there anything else here? What is it that we're meant to be seeing? This feels like a reveal. And this void surrounding the place makes me think that we're not done yet with the hallucinations. We can't even take this at face value. And maybe the substance isn't the villager, maybe it's the water itself. That looks like some kind of keypad. And there's more. Some kind of 
portal! Your freedom was not appearing in the contract. The company Rotbrains asked for more adrenaline substances to transform into renewable energy. Before the Fourth World War, we had more energy sources, but now in 2861, energy is scarce. Always you wanted to go ahead of us. You defraud us, you betray us, but... You had to trust in us. For your safety. For your family. So after all that, I just get gunned down by some nerdy-looking postal protagonist. Real ending. Uh, this is the best family of the horror map makers. So thanks so very much for the horror community. You're amazing, guys. Uh, I always like when map makers pay tribute to inspirations at the end of maps. Uh, one ending, one ending. Gallery room. Finish the two endings. Okay. So now I have to go for the other. Alright, I'm a little confused about this, but it looks like I can actually do both in one sitting, which wasn't really possible with the other ones that I played. Oh, this starts me back here. Only now... Only now I'm not sure what I'm doing. Do I have to make my way back up? Yeah, I haven't seen this before. You are truly terrifying looking. Okay, imagine if you were just playing regular Minecraft and you were exploring a cave and you turned a corner and saw that. There's definitely uncanny valley value in Minecraft's simple graphics. And you're just gonna stand still making me walk toward you. Well, that strange, disjointed music ramps up, making me think you're gonna do something! Oh, that was great. Okay, so it didn't... How did you manage that? That didn't really work for me, because I broke it by keeping my eyes on him the entire time as I backed in. Your expectations are ramping up as you approach. It's gonna do something. This is the most terrifying thing I've seen so far. It's gonna do something. And then you step in. And you hear that scampering of footsteps right behind you. It shows you right off the bat, here's something you absolutely hate, and then as soon as you turn your back, it tells you, right behind you, bud. I guess this is where the various sacrifices are prepared. This is not how I left it. It uses sound just often enough that when it goes silent, that's when I get nervous. Ah! Can't jump! This would be a no-brainer in normal Minecraft! Uh, look how it taunts us with freedom. The daylight in from above. Where is my son? Where is my son? Why are you making noise, but not opening when I interact with you? Were you perhaps a trigger for that thunder? Why are you here? Why y you know will die? Who are these demons? Where you go? You are lost. 
Now, it said before that I got the real ending. Is that because that door wouldn't have opened if I had not been holding the secret Easter egg key? And for that matter, is this what I would have seen if I had tried going straight forward, or could I even go straight forward? In any case, I've now walked to the end of a hall and now have to turn back, so there's that. Nighttime above and daylight below. Why question anything now? Huh. Well, that's a relief. I was being reminded of that one episode of Spongebob where Squidward ended up in the void. Alone. Hi. Where is he? Murderer. Killer of children. Where is my son? Oh, this is my perspective from in the crib. Staring at the door in this darkened room. This takes me back. Why, Daddy, what a big, twisted head you have. And crescendo, yeah. <laughs> Bad ending. But that is the end. And we have opened the door to the gallery. Yeah, so that's actually, that, that whole thing was kind of confusing to me. So I guess the whole, like, where's my son thing, maybe that has to do with, like, my family being kept as collateral in exchange for me staying here and being subject to this research. And I guess those thoughts of them, and particularly my son, being in danger... That's what kept playing while I was hooked up to whatever this was, I guess, living in some kind of simulation. Uh, that's a cool thing you're doing with the sign there. So this is Priest Entity Error. Uh, Priest Migile Fitzgerald. Oh, they've got names and everything. Uh, surprise. Satan himself. See, that's the thing. If we're going that... Like, we're harvesting you for resources, or using you to refine resources, or whatever that was. What is with all the satanic and biblical imagery? Monster Kid incomplete. Oh, something just clicked for me. These aren't for a sacrifice. These are to build whatever this thing is. Oh, that is absolutely grotesque. And Dr. Jellibert Kovelnik. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I go through all of this, this journey through the darkest recesses of my mind, only to be gunned down by Steve Jobs at the end. Easter egg chest. Do you have the key? This is what it was for. And motivation music box. Oop. <laughs> it's the Thomas the Tank Engine theme. I'm not sure if I can play that. Oop. <laughs> and the creator appears and literally dances before you while the meme song plays. That is absolutely excellent. <laughs> uh, this is... This really is a creator room worthy of Gary's mod. Secret Link. Secret Horror Maps Tests. Are you sure you want to open the following website? Mediafire.com. Oh, it's a Mediafire link. Uh, let's just get out of here so that music stops. Whoa. Whoa, this is cool. 
Oh, we get to see it all from this different perspective and actually see the true scale of what we were walking through. That is something else. Up here, I bet, is where we started. Uh, the picture might be a little bit jittery now that I'm in display capture mode. Uh, but there's all kinds of stuff up here. Oh, I bet these are like uh, redstone and command blocks. I've never worked with command blocks myself, but... Ah, this is so cool. It just goes to show what a huge underpinning there is to everything we've been experiencing. Like, even though we're along for the ride, it's a lot of work to make this stuff function. It is still Minecraft, after all. Uh, enough of this. We have a link to check out. Viruses to download and whatnot. Okay, so let's see what it is that we just downloaded. Uh, the folders are titled 1, Images, Horror Map Test 1, 2, 3, and Pre-Horror Map Test 2. Let's have a look at the images first. Oh, that's cool, like a classic haunted castle. Almost kind of looks like Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, doesn't it? Some glowing-eyed figure in the dark, blending in. Uh, Donald, I guess. Oh, and I guess he's Jewish. Whatever that thing is. Oh, you can see, like, the teeth popping out of its head. It's all 3D. Uh, that guy, who looks to be smoking a pipe made out of cobwebs. Now there's a cool structure. I don't even know what that is. Almost looks like the underside of like a tank or something. And that guy. And that guy. Oh, were you going for some kind of uh, fast food themed horror map? Maybe a little bit of Five Nights at Freddy's inspiration? Yeah, that's horrific. I mean, it looks kind of funny at a glance, but it reminds me of a certain Easter egg from Infra. And this reminds me a little bit of I'm Scared again. And there's Crazy Pete, who lives in the Walmart parking lot. And there's the creator's avatar. And Satan. And a dog. A dog who's, from the look of it, living the life. First up is horror map test one. Ah, we're still in spectator mode, seeing from the outside, looking in. Alright, let's see what was built. Uh, oh no, we're just in creative mode. And there's some switches around the back. All right, we might have to break in, but that's okay. I can see we've got some reused props and a similar level of detail in the environment. This looks like a mansion or a house of some kind. Oh, this is cool. So if I'm understanding correctly, I don't know if these are maps that the creator made or if they're... Uh, what is it with skeletal children? And I can sit in the cart. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I know it's said in the beginning, but I don't remember if these are maps that the creator made or if they're maps that just never came to fruition. But they certainly look pretty cool so far. What is this obsidian structure? Uh, would you have been the boss at the end, or perhaps this would have been some kind of Easter egg room? I probably would have been tempted to grab something from this box. House oh, number two. Huh. House number two is strangely similar to house number one. Mm. Ah, I see. I see. I'm wondering if... Whoa, whoa. I see. So this would have been like a Christmas-themed map. And I guess I would have been opening up these boxes and getting, like, horrific things. Maybe I would have rounded the corner and... 
Maybe I would have rounded the corner and seen some figure, maybe Santa, maybe something else, seemingly placing gifts under the tree. This is so cool! Walking through... Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll save this for another video. Because I'm actually getting a lot more out of this than I thought I would. This is so cool. Walking through test maps and kind of speculating on what they were supposed to be. Or map test two. Oh, what a cool haunted house. Leaves on the ground and a nice pumpkin patch in front. This is like a storybook witch's house. Uh, I want to live here. This isn't a horror map. Let us in. Block place. Uh, I guess some of the triggers are here. Eh, let me in. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was too good to be true. Housing in this economy? Oh, wait, there's actually an opening around the side. Hmm. I guess this would have been how we got in by breaking that window or something. What does pre horror map test 2 mean? Ooh, there's a very tall hedge maze, although it looks like its may function is some kind of transitional space. Uh, this one's more wandering around in the woods. An immense variety between these different spaces. I wonder why these would have been abandoned. Maybe things just weren't working correctly and it became frustrating, or... I don't know. I mean, the one that we played does certainly seem to be a little more, like, contained. But like I said, you can definitely see how a lot of these ideas came together in that map. Oh, there's even more out here. Uh, how far out does this go? Alright, so three more separate chambers. Would this have also gone with the religious horror angle, or was this maybe just some construction to uh, make things work? I'm so unfamiliar with command blocks and such that I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Uh, let me through. Now there's invisible blocks in here, meant to prevent movement. It didn't want me getting too close to that wall had I entered from the correct direction. Yeah, presumably I would have been teleported into this box back here. Whatever this thing is. What are these? Okay, given the repetitive nature of this hallway, I'm assuming this probably would have been the beginning of the map, right? And there's a lot of exposed things that presumably would have been hidden in the final version. And finally, Horror Map Test 3. Oh, this one was much farther along. Much farther along. Oh, it is so sad to see this much effort getting scrapped. I wonder if maybe this was meant to be something eventually. The stairwell. Oh, no, 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 no! This is the test for the map we ultimately played. Oh, but it's so different. I wonder if maybe this was just to test the different uh, command block and redstone devices. To get a feel for how it would all work in the end. Or maybe it's something different altogether, and these environments just ended up making their way into the final map. Even though it's just a test map, it feels like... It feels like I'm someplace I'm not supposed to be. 
I mean, I got this for completing the other horror map, which, by the way, what an Easter egg to include. A whole bunch of test maps for unfinished horror games? Necessary time to reflect. Yeah, no, these aren't just trying out concepts. Uh, this was meant to be something, or at least it was a prototype for something. This looks like maybe it was meant to be... I don't know, like a school, maybe? A whole bunch of spam in the console just saying that it found me. That's the most ominous thing I've experienced yet. Oh. Uh, hello, happy little woodland critters. What terrifying things would you have had in store for me? Oh, and this chamber keeps on going. There's a lot of little rooms like this. And things are looking a little bit less happy now. I have a feeling we probably would have seen these in succession. Yes, this is definitely meant to be a classroom. I think, given the look of this, we probably would have been descending this ladder. Climbing down that bright shaft into whatever altar of some kind this is. Here's yet another forest. A forest on fire. I'm thinking that this map probably would have centered around some kind of, I guess, childlike fantasy land that reveals itself to not be what it seems. I've totally lost track of where I have and haven't been. This looks familiar. Yeah, this eventually became the house in the final map. Oh, but it would have been like the same room, like looping in on itself. Now there's a thought. It's so cool as a reward for completing it, kind of getting a glimpse into all the work that goes into something like this. I mean, at this point, this is like dominated the video. It's probably going to be almost as long on this as on the horror map itself. But I just find that so neat. I mean, last by showing us this, but also that idea was present in how it ended by putting us into spectator mode, allowing us to see the underpinning of everything that kind of made that map tick. And now we get to see all the balled up wads of paper in the garbage next to the creator's desk. And honestly, they're pretty cool. And I'd love to see some of these ideas expanded on. I hope they were. Yeah, but if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to do that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this map out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.